Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for day, today is taken from Psalm 37, verses 1 to 18. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your, ju and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself, it leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little, in a little while the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord upholds the righteous. A reading from the Christian writings taken from the Revelation to John. And to the angel of the church in Samara write, These are the words of the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. I know your affliction and your poverty, even though you are rich. I know the slander on the part of those who say that they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Beware, the devil is about to draw some of you into prison so that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have affliction. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Whoever conquers will not be harmed by the second death. And to the angel of the church in Parama, write, These are the words of him who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know where you are living, where Satan's throne is. Yet you are holding fast to my name, and you do not deny your faith in me even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you where Satan lives. But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold to the teaching of Balama, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the people of Israel, so that they would eat food sacrificed to idols and practice fornication. So you also have some who hold to the teaching of Nicolaus. Repent then. If not, I will come to you soon and make war against them with the sword of my mouth. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To everyone who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give a, a white stone. And on the white stone is written a new name that no one knows except the one who receives it. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. 
Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. <laughs>